I'm still getting some questions on how to have user input show up in the boxes. So I'm going to uh, show you how to do that right now. Right now I have my setup for six boxes and uh, I've made a pretty color on the back and I have a font all set up ready and waiting to be used. So I need to enter my first number. For my user input, I'm going to need some variables. So N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, and N6, all integers. All right, so put type in your first number. When I do that, my message is up at the top. I kind of like it if my message shows up in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to take a guess where that might be. And I'm going to go to line number 10 and maybe over to column 20 and see where I end up. That looks pretty good. I like that better than the top. Now I would also like for their number that they type in to show up right after type in your first number. Same line. So I am going to add dot dot at the end of my put before I do my get. If I run this, my cursor sits here and flashes right here. So now I can type in my number and great, not great because the number is not allowed to be that big. So because your number has to be between 1 and 49, I'm going to put these three lines in a loop. Which means these will get repeated until I've got the number I want. So how, I, how do I do the until? I say exit when my n1 is greater than 1 and my n1 is less than or equal to my 49. Okay, now I've got a way out of my loop. If I run this and my number's too big, I'm still in my loop. But if my number's just right, I get out of my loop. But wait, that doesn't look like my number's right. It still looks too big. So I want to clear out the number that I have before I repeat my loop. So if I locate to 10, 20, and I put a put in there that doesn't actually run write, write anything, so if I put a big number, it will erase the whole line before it types the question again. Type in your first number. So now I can add, type in as many big numbers as I want. They get wiped out until my number is perfect. That's great, except now, what if the user doesn't know what's wrong with their number? Let's add some information right underneath. So we'll go down to line 11. Start a little bit to the left and say your number must be between 1 and 49. Please try again. All right, big number. Ah, some information. Great. I entered a good number and an, it's still giving me that message. So once I get out of my loop, let's get rid of this message. We want to locate to the line that the message is on. And we want to wipe the line out because we know the number is good now. So let's 
wipe it out. Big number, perfect number, beautiful, great. Now we can start putting our numbers into the box. So we're out of the loop, got a good number, and I cheated. I already have a line of code which is going to write our number right in the box. But what's this? How far do we go over to the, to the right? I took my draw.fill box calculation 100 times, well for the first number it's 100 times 1. And I moved it over just a little bit so it wouldn't be at the edge of the box. Why is it 110 for the Y value? I moved it up just a little bit to center it in the box. So what does it look like? It looks like the number fits in fairly nicely in the box. Maybe I should make my font a little bit smaller. And now that looks pretty good, centered in the box. So there's our loop for the first number. When we are, have the number that we want, it's a good number, we exit the loop. If the number isn't correct, we'll write an error message on the screen, we'll wipe out the previous number, and we'll loop back up to the top again. Once our number is perfect, we'll clear out that error message, and now we'll write the number into the box. So this is only one of the numbers. You can copy and paste most of that and uh, change your variable from n1 to n2 for your second number. And uh, this will have to move over for your second box. So instead of a 1 for your second number, you have a 2. And you can finish all six user input values and have them all appear in the box. Hope this helps and I look forward to seeing your results.